So far we have seen what is an agency, what are the rights and duties of a principal or an agent, what is the liability, how does you know agency by ratification works, all those things we have seen. But this was all part of the agency. Agency is something I'm giving you some authority. It's a contract. Now a contract starts with something, it has to come to an end with something, right? So there is something called as termination of agency. How does an agency get terminated? What are the different provisions when we are saying can agency be terminated? Yes, why not? But how does it get terminated? And basically, what do we mean by termination of an agency? So let's try to understand all those things one by one. So an agent's authority can be terminated at any time. If the trust between the agent and the principal has broken down, it is not reasonable to allow the principal to remain at risk in any transactions that the agent might conclude during a period of notice. Simple. If there is no trust between, if there is no confidence between principal and agent, they are not trusting each other, they are not having enough confidence upon each other, definitely that means an end of an agency. There is no requirement of going ahead with the same thing if you are not agreeing with me and I am not agreeing with you as a principal and agent, right? That is what we mean by termination. It can be terminated at any time by the principal. But what are the different ways to terminate? There can be different scenarios. In different situations, the same agency can be terminated in different ways. So what are those different ways in different scenarios? That is what we mean by ways to terminate. The first one is by an agreement. Now, what does it mean? Again, very simple. The very formation of an agency was an agreement. Something that can be created with an agreement can also be terminated by an agreement. But there are different scenarios for termina termination by agreement. So on the basis that agency relationship is created by agreement between the principal and the agent, such a relationship can also be brought to an end by no, uh, by mutual agreement between the parties that is in writing or orally. So something the agency started because of an agreement. Now there can be a further agreement to just make it to an end, to bring it to an end, right? That is what we are saying. Termination by agreement may also occur if the agency relationship is terminated pursuant to the provisions of agreement itself, the following circumstances may arise. So when we are saying agreement, there can be an agreement in the beginning itself that this agency would be terminated at this time. For example, if it is created for some purpose, once that purpose is over, automatically it is terminated, right? So that is also an example. That is what is given over here. If the agreement provides for the appointment of an agent for a specified period of time, the agency will come to an end automatically when that period of time is over. Like in the uh, agreement itself, it was written, there was a clause that this agency is for next three months. So after three months, the agency is automatically terminated. That is period. Next, if the agreement provide for an agency terminate upon the occurrence of a specified event, the agency will come to an end upon the occurrence of such an event. If we are saying that if something like this happens, agency will be over. That is also there. Then if something like that happens, what is already being specified, that will also bring our agency to an end, right? Next, way to terminate an agency is by act of parties. What can be act of parties? First is performance by the agent. If an agent is appointed to accomplish a particular task or for a specific purpose, when the task is accomplished by the agent or the specific purpose is attained, the agency will be terminated. Simple. Something you have appointed me as an agent to do something. Now once I am done with that task, the agency is over. Simple. Second is this revocation by the principal. Principal revoke something. What does it revoke? The authority of an agent may be revoked at any time by the principal. However, Unilateral revocation otherwise than in accordance with the provisions of the agency agreement may render the principal liable to the agent for the breach of an agency agreement. But again, it can come to an end. If the principal is revoking, that would be breach. That is something different, but agency would be over, right? That is either performed or not performed. In both the scenarios, it can be over. That is what we are trying to say by act of parties. Next, it is uh, what we call call it as renunciation by agent. What is it? An agent is entitled to uh, renounce his power by refusing to act or by notifying the principal that he will not act in the principal. Again, agent can also say that I will not act, can renounce his rights, right? As an agent, he will be out of the contract. That is also one possibility by act of the parties we are saying. Next, we are saying unilateral termination of an agency by the agent before he has fulfilled his obligation to the principal under the agency agreement will render the uh, will render the agent liable to the principal for the breach of the agency agreement, such as payment of damages or the loss suffered by the principal. Again, the same thing. 
either party can terminate but whoever is terminating the other party can always file a suit for the breach of contract of agency right if principal is breaking down agency have uh, agent has that power if agent breaches out of the contract of course principal has that power right that is what we are saying next it is by notice this was by act on parties one act is purpose is over other one is either party is getting out of it third one we are saying by notice what does it mean if the agency agreement provides that agency may be terminated upon either party serving on the uh, serving on the other written notice of a specified duration if it is said that this can get over with a notice of 10 days so of course 10 days notice can be given 15 days notice can be given whatever has been agreed so but that should be agreed however if the agency agreement does not obtain any termination provision the general rule is that reasonable notice has to be given to the other party to terminate the agency you cannot say tomorrow onwards there is no agency i will not work as an agent for you it requires certain time principal can also say that tomorrow onwards you are no more my agent there should be if there is a notice it should be given a reasonable time a reasonable time can be in general practice like maybe whatever let's say 30 days 60 days whatever is practiced in the industry or it can be specifically mentioned from the beginning itself that is also possible right next by operation of law what do we mean by operation of law there are certain situations when law itself says that you know agency can be terminated on these grounds what are these grounds let me just zoom in if i don't know if it is readable or not yeah just have a look an agency uh, an agency may be terminated by operation of law upon the circumstances of particular events when the party concerned is an individual so by death by incapacity by uh, what we can call it as a bankruptcy all those situations where law is involved so where law is involved that also renders it something again similar something simple we have already discuss this part right that is by operation of law what is next duties of an agent to the principal what are the certain scenarios what are the certain situations what are the certain duties that an agent has to perform towards the principal so let's look into one by one these are a certain of the duties again let me just adjust the screen a little bit yeah i believe this is a little bit more yeah what is it simple things simple instructions whatever we follow in general scenario that an agent should follow from the principal what is it to obey the principal's instructions of course principal is the one giving direction to the agent to act principal uh, or agent has to obey to the principal that is the basic idea to exercise care and diligence in carrying out his work and use such Dil uh, due diligence it's like it should be reasonable you, you cannot act fool because it's something that is not affecting you it is something that is affecting somebody else so you cannot act fool it should be due diligence should be applied to render proper accounts when required yes whatever information is being asked from you by the principal you have to give that information to pay to his principal all sum received on his behalf whatever you are receiving on behalf of principal you should be giving it back to him to communicate with the principal yes without communication there is nothing going to happen so whatever information is there it should be communicated not to let his own interest conflict with his duty yes you cannot indulge into the same duty what you are performing for your principal right so something should be there that your duty should be separate of what you're performing for the principal not to make a secret profit out of the performance of his duty that would be some kind of fraud some kind of fraudulent activity that you're doing if you're making some money out of it for something which you are already getting some kind of commission or some kind of remuneration from your principal right not to disclose confidential information or document you you cannot whatever information is confidential between you and principal it should remain confidential you cannot show it publicly to others and not to delegate his authority yes the authority has been given to you by somebody else you cannot delegate it to somebody else because it's not your own authority you're just a caretaker of the same authority we can say right yeah can we go to the next slide let's go forward section 201 talks about termination termination of an agency what does it mean an agency is terminated by the principal revoking his authority or by agent renouncing the business of the agency or by the business of the agency being completed this we have already seen right but this comes from section 201 or by either the principal or agent dying or becoming of unsound mind same provisions what we have seen so far We're just reading from the uh, you know legal point of view or by the principal being adjudicated and insolvent under the provisions of any act for the time being in the force or relief of insolvent debtors simple this is nothing new we have already covered but 
there are certain case why why are we looking into it because this is a sort of revision for certain case laws that what we are having what is the first case law we are having sayani versus bright brothers private limited let's look into it what is the situation for this case law where an agency has been created for a fixed period compensation would have to be paid for its premature termination right if there is a period specified that agency is for next 6 months and if the agency is being terminated within 4 months then compensation should be four for the balance time what is it reasonable notice for premature uh, termination of agency was not given the agent was earning rupees 4000 per month therefore the court was of the view that at least 3 months notice should have been given so that a com- so a compensation of rupees 12000 has to be paid because one month you are making 4000 simple notice should be given that is what we are saying if you are prematurely you know terminating your agency uh, simple just have a look into it Re- pause the video read it again make a note out of it whatever you can understand whatever you want to write it down otherwise it is simple let's go ahead i believe you have written down something next case law it is carter versus white now what is it again scenario let's look uh, let's have a read out of it a principal owed a sum of money to his agent and gave him an accepted bill of exchange with an authority to fill in the drawer's name right drawer's name can be his own name we can say now what is happening the principal died before the agent could complete the bill his authority to fill in the drawer's name was held not to be terminated simple again very simple you can just pause it out and have a read and make a note out of it yes let's go forward one more case law sukhdev versus corner of endowments what is it an agency comes to an automatic end on the expiry of its term where the agency was to run a petrol pump for a specified time it was held that the agency was bound to vacate the premises on expiry of the period there was no renewal clause nor in fact there was any renewal simple term agency is over it's over that is some how simple it is effect of termination of agents authority what what happens when we are actually terminating sometimes former agents continue to act on their ex principals behalf even though the agency was ended that is something illegal if it happens that you are not an agent anymore and still you are acting as an agent for somebody that is illegal we can say once an agency terminates by any of the means just describe the agent's actual authority expressed or implied ends as well if it is terminated the authority is gone nonetheless such ex agents may retain apparent authority to bind their former principals that is there next it is third parties who are unaware of the termination may reasonably believe that an ex agent still has authority to protect third parties who rely on such a reasonable appearance of authority an agent's apparent authority often persists after termination thus a former agent may be able to bind the principal under his apparent authority even though the agency has ended again because people can trust you if people are trusting you as an agent automatically principal would also be bind so it becomes the principal's responsibility to disclose that the agency is over because ultimately the principal is going to be affected so principal should make clear uh, make it clear to the people that the agency is not there any more more Pr- principal should at least try to make it clear right if it is clear or not that is secondary but principal should be taking some effort towards the achievement of this thing next it is notice to third parties yes that is what we are seeing principal should always give a notice that the agency is over apparent authority ends only when the third party receives appropriate notice of the termination that is when it is no longer reasonable for a third party to believe that the agent has actual authority sometimes the agent would say i believed this to be an agent but principal can always say that i have given you a notice so principal has already informed third party that this person is not my agent so even though third party is entering into the agreement with the agent that would not be binding upon the principal some basis for termination of by operation of law may provide such notice such as a uh, changed circumstances right under the restatement of agency an agent's apparent authority may continue even after the principal's death or loss of capacity an agent may act uh, with apparent authority following the principal's death or loss of capacity because the basis of apparent authority is 
a principal's manifestation to third parties coupled with third parties reasonable belief that the agent acts with actual authority again simple to understand nothing's rocket science pause it read it you will understand it if not ask me out when third parties do not have noticed that the principal has died or lost capacity they may reasonably believe that the agent of uh, the agent to be authorized the rule that the principal's death does not aut automatically terminate apparent authority is consistent with the interest of protecting third parties who act without knowledge of the principal's death or loss of capacity again simple to protect themselves against unwanted liability however prudent principals will want to notify third parties themselves the required type of notification whereas with the third party in question who it is if third party is in general public you should give a notification you should give an advertisement in the newspaper if it is somebody specific you can always send a letter or send a message that is how it is it can be appropriate right but it is the duty of the principal to notify the third party because principal is going to be bound by something which third party is doing with an agent simple for third parties who have previously dealt with the agent or who have begun to deal with the agent actual notification is necessary this can be accompanied by a direct personal statement to the third parties or uh, writing delivered to the third party personally to his place of business or to some other place reasonably believed to be appropriate that is what we mean by uh, termination of an agency we can say right simple enough no rocket science nothing so complicated here we are ending